Hello guys, welcome to the channel, Bob here, uh, <coughs> and I'm in, um, uh, I'm in Kearns Tower, as you can see, I've just kind of fought a skeleton, <laughs> it was light blue, but uh, yeah, it's um, kind of, I don't know kind of what's going on really yet, I'll probably find out in a minute, but I kind of feel a bit disheartened really, there's a, there appears to be someone being power leveled possibly. Uh, which is always a bit of a shame, I think. Um, there's a high, some guy called Day Daymond keeps looking at my equipment, which is quite rude. Um, but yeah, it's uh, there appears to be a druid, a high level, really high level druid running around, um, kind of killing. Well, if I came in just now, and oh, oh, that's very nice of him. <coughs> oh, that was very nice of him, I have to say. Sorry, Damon, I was about to... Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, not very nice, probably. A bit of a whinge. <laughs> uh, but it does... But even so, you know, I kind of get the impression there's some sort of power levelling thing going on here. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Uh, it's not, I don't know how long things take to spawn. Uh... Yeah, I'm not sure, but um, I'll just see what happens. <coughs> we will see what happens. Seems like a friendly, talkative chap. He did give me some gloves as well. I don't know if uh, I don't know if they're better than what I've got. Uh, I'll wear I'll wear the gloves just because he gave them to me and see uh, see how we get on. Just uh, the druid was kind of talking to the daemon guy, I think probably. Um, I guess I'll kind of. Uh, oh my god. Okay. Yeah, it appears as though. Uh, yeah, it does appear. I think it appears as though it must. It must be. Um, thingy going on here is there must be uh, power leveling I think can't think of what else it could uh, it could be really um. oh well what can you do <laughs> it's kind of why I kind of hate coming in dungeons really it's just a bit of a, a bit of a shame isn't it this sort of thing goes on I mean I think they've kind of pulled the whole <coughs> kind of pulled the whole zone I think probably um, or quite a lot of it uh yeah oh well oh well yeah anyway so i'm in kerns and the the felly cloud is a druid i think probably is um is power leveling someone uh, kind of in the, the busiest zone, <laughs> one of the busiest zones probably. Uh, I mean, it's not busy at the moment. Maybe the people here and they got pissed off and they left. I got no idea, but yeah, some some kind of power leveling going on here. Um, but there you go. What can you do? I'll uh, I'll put this up so that you just as a lesson to yeah, 
just as a lesson to myself really but uh, what an absolute effing waste of time this sort of thing can be sometimes do I feel a bit do I feel pissed off yeah I feel a bit pissed off actually yeah. <laughs> you know kind of come in and I'm I mean I'm quite happy to sit here and kill one mob and wait a few minutes for the next one you know I just you know I kind of want to be greedy or anything really but uh, yeah I guess when you when you got someone pulling the whole zone um, it's a shame bought all my time Okay. I don't have no idea what the spawn time is here, but I mean, there's. Uh, it's kind of. Uh, is there stuff about. Oh, God knows. Greater skeleton. Oh, let's give it a go, shall we? Probably end up dying anyway. I said something about some. They said something there about buying all the time or something. I don't know. I guess someone kind of paying for a power level. Possibly, I don't know. Who knows? I don't. Uh, I think I'll probably log out, guys. Actually, kind of, uh, yeah, sort of. You know, I, this kind of thing kind of puts me off, really. I mean, the, the jury just said I won't pull the, you know, the first floor, but well, I don't know. Uh, just uh, kind of thing just annoys me, um, and kind of, yeah, just dampens my enthusiasm to play the game, really. <laughs> but what can you do you know this is the kind of the way it works I guess uh, I guess they are I don't think it's an excuse but I guess they are here at a you know a, a sort of a um, a quieter time I suppose um, although I guess they probably wouldn't get away with it at, at any other time so yeah but, uh don't want to yeah I don't want to kind of push the push the situation okay well I'll sit oh oh my mend worked so I can I can bash this guy experience is kind of pretty good actually can't really uh, can't really complain I hope he didn't pull that for me because I'm kind of uh, a bit stuck now <laughs>
Well, at least they're kind of. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I kind of probably need to pull up my pace actually because I'm not not super twinked really, and uh, um, I'll probably die if I have to fight too many uh, things. It looks like it. I mean, it looks like if you get in here and you can do stuff for a bit, it looks like it might be a pretty good, uh, pretty good thing. You know, it's uh, quite a good experience, I think. Sort of on the uh, actually on the. Um, uh, just killing stuff, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty cool. I think I've been quite lucky here, but I don't know how lucky I'm going to continue to be because he kind of kept missing me. But now he's kind of hitting me, and I'm probably going to have to run. I think, by the looks of things, yeah, I think so. Ah, uh. uh. <coughs> not super twinked, really. So I have to, uh, yeah, I kind of have to. Uh, uh, rest in between pools, I think, probably. That didn't work out particularly well. Okay. Yeah, I just said to him, not super twink, so I probably need to rest in between. Uh, thanks, though, anyway. I mean, you know, it's, it's quite a... I think it kind of turned out to be quite reasonable in the end. Kind of even sort of pulled one for me, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know. I don't know. I just kind of... The kind of thing even just annoys me, you know, even the fact they're being kind of quite reasonable about it. I mean, it could just be complete douches, I suppose, which they haven't been. Um, so that's... Uh, yeah, that's okay. We'll see how we get on. I might stay here for a bit. Uh, I've kind of got quite a lot of resting to do now, guys, so I will um, probably stop this video. Uh, I don't even know why I started recording, to be honest. I wanted to get some Kern's Tower footage, and I just kind of thought to myself, and I just found it super annoying that, that someone is, uh, even on a, you know, even on a kind of quite a low, um, uh, even on quite a low, sort of, a, sort of, sorry, it's like a non-peak time. Yeah, it's still a bit annoying, but they're being quite reasonable, so maybe I'll be able to kill a few things. I might even get to level 14 if I'm lucky. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I'll speak to you again soon. I'll kind of come back and uh, let you know I'm getting on. Yep, yeah, thanks for watching. Hello, guys. Welcome back. This is a short time after, and I haven't really had much more luck particularly, to be honest. Uh, the druid said she wouldn't pull the bottom floor, but I'm not even—I'm not even bothered if she—if she did pull some of the bottom floor, if as long as there was kind of something, something left. But uh, I kind of I mean she's been running around the bottom floor collecting stuff. So and there's a there's a ton of ton of mobs there. Um, yeah, I mean, there's loads of them. There must have been about thirty or so, I think, probably twenty, thirty, maybe more than that. So yeah, I can only assume that that she kind of has done this time. So yeah. You know, what can you do? Just uh, just carry on with it, I guess. Uh, I guess I should probably log out. I mean, I could could be doing other stuff. <laughs> could be playing other games um, instead of standing here. Kind of wasting my time, really. Um, I don't know. It's uh, yeah, it's a weird thing. I uh, I kind of went down. I actually kind of went down quite low on health as well just now because the, I mean to be fair to him, you know, I think the, the I think the, the bard guy there is probably a bit, you know, he actually went and pulled something for me, but it was just after I'd killed an even con, so I was quite low on life, um, and I had to zone, and, and I've kind of had to sit around, sat, I had to sit around for sort of five ten minutes to get some uh, get some life back. Um, yeah, so that's a so it's just a massive shame, really, isn't it? I mean, I you know you kind of. Uh, You kind of you'd hope even that my, I mean you know the, the dru druid you know I mean the bar said something about sort of uh, buying all of her time or something or whatever uh, or something like that but I mean the druid didn't even bother to heal me you know and I certainly would have done it just seems pretty uh, pretty rude really um, yeah but what but what can you do 
you know this is this is the this is the kind of the reason why I, I I think I avoid dungeons or just grouping with people in general or getting to a high level a higher level you know it's just because uh, I just hate these kind of things really you know it's I've just got no I've got no time for them I've got no people who no time for people who uh, yeah you kind of do this uh, this kind of thing really it's just uh, it's just a bit of a shame yeah so that's so that's uh, I think I'll probably log out now it, it's uh, I mean clearly there's nothing else left here by looks of things uh, and, and I, I don't know the zone I mean I've got a map but I don't know the zone I don't want to go um, I don't want to go too far in I just don't I, you know I, I mean I you know I, I don't know the zone <laughs> that's the thing I've got no problem with sort of being adventurous even even on my own you know but but when you don't know the place uh, I think getting involved in kind of un, you know un, unnecessary deaths particularly because two people have just decided to take over the whole zone is uh yeah it's a bit of a bit of a pain really uh, and it is i mean I, I, I do i find the whole situation strange you know i guess that he's he's paid to be power leveled and there's a kind of like a, some sort of business transaction thing going on which yeah just sort of to me i just boggles my mind really i don't quite understand that kind of thing particularly in a game especially and maybe that's why the druid can't be bothered you know he's not kind of buffing me I mean I would I would buff anyone in this situation uh, I mean the other day I was running through somewhere and I kind of just exhausted my mana just buffing a group well because I thought it was just yeah just a good thing to do really irrespective of of what I was doing um, but yeah there you go that's enough of me whinging uh, this is me venturing into a dungeon and not having a particularly good experience unfortunately anyway guys <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching thanks for listening to me uh venting a bit and i'll speak to you again soon hello guys welcome back to the channel uh just to, just, just as, an, as a quick aside i thought it would be fair just to say that uh the uh i think the bard had to log essentially so he he kind of logged and <clears throat> went essentially so i'm i'm here on my own you know obviously it doesn't change the fact that if he didn't hadn't needed to log uh I'd probably still be scraping around for, for something to kill. Not that I can kill much before I have to sit down, you know. But but part part of this uh, this small update here is just to sort of say to people that I'm, unless you're in a group, you might be better off coming here at sort of 14, because uh, the greatest skeletons are awesome for um, experience, but they're level but they're level 13. So for someone like me who's not sort of super twinked, you know, um, are kind of struggling with those guys. But I think it probably at 14 when they're blue, it'll be slightly easier. So yeah, if you're thinking of coming, maybe 14. Well, come in whenever you like, essentially. <laughs> Don't take any notice of me, you know. But if you, uh, yeah, if you're thinking of coming, 14 might be kind of the ideal time because then everything on the first floor here should be blue to you of, 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 in, in, of some shade, you know. So that might be the thing to do. Anyway, guys, yeah, uh, thanks for watching and I'll speak to you again soon.